There are over 600,000 villages in India. These village communities are primarily involved in farming. In fact, 60% of India's 1.1 billion people are farmers. That is double the population of the entire United States. The farmers tend to be small and marginal farmers with between 1 and 3 acres of land and who make an average income of between $1 and $2 per day. Farmers face many issues including droughts and rising costs of fertilizers and pesticides. Crop yields have diminished after years of intensive farming and farmers often are unable to get a fair market price for their produce. While other segments of the country prosper with record growth, farmers struggle to keep up. Many resort to selling off their lands and migrating to cities and a few even commit suicide. Farming is a traditional profession and the bulk of what farmers do is passed on through generations. They did what they already knew. This has changed considerably. Farmers increasingly rely on the hearsay of neighbors and the information of external agencies like the government, fertilizer, pesticide companies, and non-governmental organizations. Government extension workers and NGOs often visit farmer plots and provide personalized advice to farmers about their crops. This approach has problems of scale because of the huge number of staff required to support individual farmers. One approach the government has taken to address this scale issue is to have farm-related broadcast, TV, and radio programs. These suffer from multiple problems. The programs are too general and are often produced by experts who usually come from a very different socioeconomic background. The farmers are unable to relate to the content and end up tuning out. We are developing a video-based end-to-end system to address this problem. We tape agricultural demonstrations of experts and farmers using a camcorder, and we use shared TVs to show the content in a village. Videos average 8 minutes in length and are often repeated if there is demand from the audience. We have experimented with various approaches to using this medium for agricultural extension. Like the program you are watching, what works best is when the video is mediated by a human being. These screenings normally occur in the evenings in makeshift public places like temples and streets. Farmers are often most interested in knowing the names of farmers and villages in which the practices are getting adopted. To encourage the motivation of peers, we tape the early adopters of a village. We have started using the interest of farmers to be recorded on video as an incentive to attract more people to start adopting the techniques. We are developing a social network of sorts with these videos which have layers of local stars encouraging each other to be better farmers. Digital Green has demonstrated early success in the popularization of sustainable farming practices in its field deployment. The number of farmers who are adopting progressive techniques are increasing manifold. This approach is very cost realistic. It bootstraps on the existing social networks of farmers and uses the power of technology to face the agricultural challenges of rural India. We believe the system will change the paradigm of agricultural extension by enabling farmer participation and encouraging the learning, adoption, and innovation of better agricultural practices. Like the internet, we aim to allow anyone, even a farmer, to be a content consumer and producer.